So how important is high dynamic range on Flight Simulator 2020? Uh, well, if you have a good TV, or if you have a really good TV, or in this case, OLED C10, well, it's simply stunning. Depending on where you are, depending on um, where you are flying, and under what conditions, but I can tell you, native 4K resolution with high dynamic range on this uh, C10 OLED simply looks stunning. Uh, it's just a different way to experience this game. It's the best way to experience this game, in my opinion. And it just looks stunning. Simply put, stunning. Here, let me try and do uh, different variations of uh, the weather. Let me try and do that really quick. So here, now we're using a different variations of the weather. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and, and remove all the stuff uh, so you can see clearly what's going on. Um, here we got some different variations of the weather, broken clouds, and this just looks um, unbelievably stunning on this television. Again, all of this will depend on what type of television do you have, what type of uh, TV do you have, and what kind of capabilities do you have in terms of uh, full white color gamut and uh, of course the panel itself will determine how great this game gonna look now if you have this TV uh, C10 OLED and I have it either C10 or C9 or even C8 will get the job done you cannot go wrong with the OLED this is what I've been trying to tell people, you know, if you truly want to uh, experience the gaming or your favorite game, uh, this is no-brainer. Does HDR help? Of course. Listen, even without HDR, this will look good on the OLED. But think about this, native 4K, HDR, with OLED and you cranked up the uh, high settings well there you go this is what you can expect to see I think we'll see probably something like this 100% from um, Xbox Series X there's no question about it I'm confident that we'll see something like this from the Xbox Series X uh, in terms of quality let me just quickly uh, move out of this cloud. Uh, and the clouds are very realistic. Uh, this is the uh, F. Uh, it's a Typhoon. It's not any F. Uh, it's not the American. Uh, it's the European uh, jet fighter. Typhoon. I think it's their latest one that they created uh, from France. It's like they're like French F-16, what this basically is. A very capable fighter, uh, but the new F-16 Falcon, uh, of course, that's the end game right there. Lockheed Martin, you know, these guys are top-notch when it comes to uh, creating uh, stealth fighters and uh, active fighters, bombers, you know, stuff like that. Lockheed Martin is the key for the Air Force. Probably one of the most richest uh, contractors for the government is the uh, Lockheed Mark. Pretty much. The stuff they're making, uh, the stuff they're doing, uh, no offense to Elon Musk, but yeah, man, you know, relax, Elon Musk. You're not all that, <sighs> okay?
because Lockheed Martin probably would say, can I laugh in his face? No, really, but they're not going to say that, but they're probably going to say, can I laugh in his face? So when it comes to the aer uh, aerodynamics and all that, uh, Lockheed Martin is pretty much top of the line, uh, in my opinion. Now listen, uh, it looks great. And uh, if you have OLED and you have a computer, pretty good computer, why not try this flight simulator 2020 man and enjoy it with the hdr playing this game with hdr it's totally it's a different ball game when you turn on that native 4k with hdr it's just a different different experience okay the amount of detail that you see my camera here is not doing it justice this is something you have to see uh in person that's why we still people, you know. When it comes to televisions, sure, I can pull up my camera and I can try to do the best I can to uh, explain to you what I'm seeing. But at the end of the day, you got to see it for yourself to, to have that understanding. <clears throat> it looks amazing, dude. This just looks amazing. Alright, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know what else I can say that I haven't said here. Um, HDR, of course, you want to have your uh, OLED light turned to the maximum and your uh, contrast turned to the maximum to take the, uh, the full uh, HDR experience on the OLED. Like, you have to do that. Like you have no choice and another thing I want to say about the OLED you know this is my second OLED I have E8 I have C10 and yes I have a Q8 uh, Q8 FN I have yet to like bump into any problems honestly everyone's been you know writing my cocktails about OLED this OLED that OLED burn in burn in burn in where Two OLEDs I have currently zero problems E8 I had my E8 since 2018 for two years no problems and this is my fifth OLED not my first rodeo having an OLED I have yet to experience any problems okay I think I've proven that point you know now granted if you don't take care of your TV if you don't take care of your car if you don't take care of your health, this goes without saying. You have to take care of it. If you don't take care of it, yeah, it's going to go bad. Anything will go bad if you don't take care of it. Okay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to try to get back to more uh, television videos. Uh, get back into that for you guys. Uh, so keep an eye on that, will you? All right. Take care. Stay safe, be well, and uh, be good.